What's up guys, uh, Major back with another Sony Vegas tutorial and uh, I'm going to show you how to make a video that's you know not filling the 16-9 the aspect ratio uh, fill the screen for YouTube. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take you know like a standard definition 4-3 ratio video um, and drop it in the timeline. You can see here there's these ugly black bars on the sides. Uh, firstly I'm going to get a get rid of this uh, this kind of motion blur by disabling the resample and that'll that'll fix it up a little bit um, then like with the highlight tutorial you're gonna want to duplicate this uh, this first video track here and uh, instead of putting an effect on the first one you're going to put an effect on the second one but not just yet um, you want to click on the track motion of the second track, the, the duplicate, and then you're just going to want to uh, lock the Y scaling. And so you can stretch it out this way, but not up. And so all you want to do is just stretch this out so there's no black bars on the side. Now, that looks kind of trippy. Um, it looks like whoever's playing was probably on some sort of drugs. So uh, next thing we're going to do is just go to the second track that was stretched out and add some Sony Gaussian Blur. Uh, click Add OK and then uh, you can just mess around with this. I found that 0 .06, .06 seemed to work well. I don't know, that seems to be a, a good number with most of the effects. Just an odd coincidence. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. You can see if we uh, go frame by frame through here you'll see and it's moving and it's got just this nice frosted look on the other side, but it fills the fills the aspect ratio. It fills the screen, so there's no disgusting black bars on the side. Uh, another way you can achieve this effect is uh, we'll get rid of this uh, background track here, so we just have the first one, and we're just going to insert a video track. We're not going to duplicate the first one, and we want uh, the blank track to be below the uh, top track. Then uh, I made a little um, image in Photoshop that just has these colorful lines on the where the the black bar would be. So now instead of black bars, it's just a crappy Photoshopped image. Just a major malfunction. It's got a couple bullet holes in it, but it's still better than those black bars. Um, and so that I think that definitely improves the look of it. I just do not like those black bars whatsoever. Uh, another thing you can use that first uh, way of improving a video is say you have a video that's already in a 16:9 aspect ratio, um, like this, but it's in 360p. So when it gets stretched out to fill this 720p video, it gets a little bit distorted. Um, how I'm going to fix that is I'm going to duplicate it again. So we have two, and this time I'm going to take the top one and click track motion. I'm going to uh, allow scaling on both axes. Uh, I want to scale about center, and I want to lock the aspect ratio. And what I'm going to do is just grab this corner and shrink it down a bit. So now it's, it's uh, sitting there in the middle. You'll see around the back we have that kind of repeat like we did on the 4-3 video. Um, and you know, on the background video again, we're just going to apply a little bit of Gaussian blur. Um, so we'll just add that right in there. It's, uh, let's see. Might wanna. All right, that looks good there. So uh, you'll have this around, and if you want to add a little more snazzy effect, you can go to the top track, um, click on Sony border and then you can uh, click on beveled and so uh, when you increase the size let's just start it at 0.01 you'll see uh, we have a little bit of a bevel here and you're not going to want to do this too much because say you put it at 0.1 instead of 0.01 uh, just look at the size of that bevel so you're probably going to want to keep it at about 0.03 so you have a, a nice tasty little effect there but it's not too much. Uh, in this case, I'm going to back it down even more. 
Um, so that way you have this video in the center. It looks a bit clear. It's not you know stretched out and distorted, and uh, you're still filling the frame. Uh, those are just a few ways. Uh, there's plenty more ways. There's plugins, but these are just the simplest ways I've found. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, please like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.